We all know the fire department is there when there's a fire, but there's something else on their plate that's becoming more and more of a burden. La Crosse's fire department also responds to calls of discarded drug needles in the city, but as News 8's Madeline O'Neill is here to tell us, that responsibility may be shifting. Mike and Martha, the needle exchange program in La Crosse is a harm reduction strategy, giving clean needles to users to prevent disease. But needles aren't always properly disposed. The fire department has been out on over 250 calls to pick up used needles around the city so far this year. And that's more than a call a day, and it translates to hundreds, if not thousands, of needles. But community members have expressed interest in helping out. And thanks to them, health educators from various agencies are considering creating a volunteer program to help get the needles off the streets. You don't want to be at a park with your kids and come across a needle. About two years ago, the La Crosse Fire Department would often get just that kind of call. Instead of trying to stay on the phone with the caller, telling them what to do, it was just quite frankly easy. It was easier for us to go down and pick up the needle. Since then, the calls keep coming, and the responsibility has fallen onto the department. If a needle is found in the city, they pick it up. It just seemed like the most efficient way at the time, not knowing that the, the call numbers would be continued to grow uh, each and every year. The fire chief understands the benefits of a needle exchange program, but the needles have become a burden. If I have the opportunity to do training, inspections, uh, or any of the other functions, I'd much rather do that than to go out and pick up a needle. In the future, that may be a reality. Don't be surprised if you see volunteers picking up discarded syringes like this instead of someone from the fire department based on people coming up to us and saying, hey, we are interested in helping to pull these needles off of the street. Is there something already in place that we could help with that? And we started thinking, well, there are programs, uh, needle exchange programs, that do have volunteer sections that they can call on to go out and pick up those needles. The Heroin and Other Illicit Drugs Task Force is working with several other community agencies, hoping to give community members a hands-on way to help. It gives people the opportunity to, you know, uh, be a part of things that are going on in their community and, and contributing to a very complex issue in terms of drug addiction. That's the way that we need to solve our issues, working together and creating solutions that work for everybody. Health educators are currently in the process of studying other volunteer programs and determining if one would work here in La Crosse. The earliest the program would begin is next summer, but those in the health community are optimistic. Thanks a lot, Madeline. And if you find a needle now, you can always give the non-emergency dispatch number a call. And even though risk, there is a risk of contracting HIV or hepatitis C from a needle, it is small. If you do decide to discard of the needle yourself, make sure you're wearing gloves, avoid the point of the needle, and also deposit it in a sharps container. You can then take the container to the AIDS Resource Center or call the fire department.